Spencer. Hi. This is going to be a reading for you, my dear Cancer. Your weekly reflection. Okay. We're going to talk about what you experienced this past week and reflect on eat. And then we'll see what major lesson you were meant to learn through it all. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like the video, like the video, like the video. <laughs> and subscribe, okay? You can book a personal reading on my website if you're interested. Sorry, a little warm. Cancer, um, let's see what's going on here, okay? I, I, the only intuitive message I have for you is infinity. All right, not quite, yeah, clairvoyance. Thank you, spirit, okay. All right, because then I also saw the Eight of Swords High Priestess, like somebody's struggling to listen to their own inner voice here. I feel like, Cancer, you need time time off or time away or there's too, okay, is there like a, hmm. All right, I feel like there's too many other opinions or voices or whatever that are involved. Now, this could of course be your inner voice. It could be um, hallucinations, of course, which needs to be managed and um, with assistance, okay, from a professional. Um, or it could be other people. All right, let's see. Show me cancer, please. But someone's struggling to listen. Yeah, someone's struggling to listen to their own inner voice. All right, I'm not sure how infinity ties in. Let's see, though. Yeah, the card said something about interpretation. Sorry, y'all. Like, getting hotter by the second. Healing the heart. Power of self-love, number 27, which reduces to a nine. Bottom of the deck, sacred purpose, eternal flame, and ancestral legacy. You could be dealing with the Taurian, okay, or have Taurus significantly in your chart. Maybe some of you have Taurus as, a, as your south node or north node. All right. All right, let's see. First card out, Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, Fate, the universe being in control, the need to let go of control, go with the flow. Yeah, okay. Now there's that, that, that fixed sign energy showing up. Somebody, yeah, infinity. Somebody's really unsure. I feel like there's a lot, there's a, something's perplexing. That's the specific word that I'm getting, but something, somebody goes back and forth about something. There's some kind of indecisiveness here that I get. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Okay. Or you feel like that's what's been going on in your life. Like there's a lot going on or there's a lot of changes right now. One minute you're up, one minute you're down. Maybe some of you feel as though you're, yeah. Okay. Feel as though your mood has not been con consistent. Justice. Wow. Wheel of Fortune and Justice. The universe is stepping in for you, Cancer. Where they have this past week for a lot of you. Okay. Justice about is about realigning things. All right having the necessary outcome that is based upon the facts, based upon the truth, based upon the what has been observed, based upon um, the wisdom that somebody has gained, based upon how someone thinks. Okay, that's the justice card, cause and effect, decisions and consequences, balancing things out, indicative of balance all right the right thing is happening somebody's going in the appropriate direction I feel like there's resistance though or there's there's too many changes or I feel like these changes are coming to an end or you're or you're going in a direction where it where it will eventually be balanced out with the wheel of fortune yeah okay exactly everything is not fine 
okay, is what somebody is saying. This card has two, excuse me, this deck has two cards. This one is similar to the Ten of Swords, but it says everything is fine because maybe somebody is in this space of struggling to, I feel like somebody's struggling to find mental peace, all right? And, and for whatever reason, it's going to vary for, for each of you. Um, again, if there's a need for, for assistance with that, please reach out. But, but I feel like somebody's struggling with how things have changed or the, or the many changes, okay, that have occurred. You may be t trying to distract yourself even at this time. With the Justice card, you have the Five of Wands reversed. So no more games, no more playing, no more competition. All right, Five of Wands reversed. The games are over with the Justice card. Whatever tension has has been constant here, that's coming to an end. All right, the tension, the tenseness, and and like I said, the multiple people. For some of you, there's too many people involved here, too many opinions, or too many too many chiefs, not enough Indians, kind of situation. Okay, but that's coming to an end, or it has with the Justice card. Yeah, and you have the Magician. All right. So taking action, I'm getting something about reciprocity as well. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. All right, let's see what your major lesson was. Hold on, y'all, because I feel like we still didn't get any clarity on what infinity is. Maybe, maybe, maybe y'all know, but let me see. I'm just gonna pull a quick card on it, okay? Hierophant reversed. Yeah, there's some there's there's significant social pressure here, or like I feel like somebody's not interested in something anymore. Or yeah. It's like I want to do things differently or rebel even. Right, but there's the two of swords where somebody's blocking their intuition. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, there's a there's a family situation, but something cyclical, yeah, ancestral legacy. There's a cycle here that needs to be broken. I feel like somebody, somebody, the universe is trying to bring someone justice, okay, to, to balance things out, but it's being refused or somebody's struggling to go in a different direction, go against the grain, this kind of thing. Yeah, the hanged one reverse and the lover lovers reverse. The hangman reverse is, is somebody who's who struggles to change have a different mindset. It's like I can't drop this mindset or um this is what I was taught, so this is how it has to go. But there's a also a desire to rebel. Somebody's just like going in circles here or this is a generational thing. All right, yeah. Like, but like, yeah, like I said, you could be dealing with a Taurus here. All right, this also has to do with commitment. Okay, something to do with commitment. No faith. No faith. I feel like, too, somebody struggles, yeah, with faith and foresight. All right. This is how it's been done, and so this is how I'm going to do it and how the next generation is going to do it or, or whatever. All right, their lesson, please. Ten of Swords. Two of Cups. To the Three of Cups. The twos are about decisions. The Two of Cups in particular, whether it has to do with you and your higher self or you and another person, there's a significant relationship here where two people need to communicate, get on the same page on how are we going to move forward. Again, whether that is you and your higher self, what's going on inside of your mind, how your intuition is speaking to you or you and, and someone that you're partnered here with, there's clearly some kind of relationship that we're speaking of. Question is, how are we going to progress? To go, to, to go from the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups, that's a commitment. That's like moving in together. That's like getting engaged. That's like, you you know, meeting my friends, like 
there's a bond here there's trust that has been built and grown but there's a struggle with moving out of that space with getting on the same page that was your lesson how do i do this yeah the ten of swords to the ace of swords Yeah, somebody's just like set in their ways here. Okay. Um, you have Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus. All right, I'll see you next time.